Here he is, Prince Charming. Deputies, man arrested after stabbing Lyft driver in the head. Right. Lady got shot through the back of her head yesterday. Next one got stabbed in the head. And this happened in um, Escambia County. Now, Jen Raffenberger, head of um, Lyft, I'm calling you out. Why? Why is it that such an individual can get in the car and uh, stab a driver in the back? A man was arrested after stabbing a Lyft driver in the back of the head in Escambia County Tuesday morning, according to the Sheriff's Office. The Escambia County Sheriff's Office says the suspect is River Austin Sewell. An incident happened around 9.15 a.m. According to deputies, Sewell took a Lyft ride service to see his probation off officer. After he was taking a lift back home, he reportedly stabbed the driver in the back of the head. Deputies say Sewell then ran from the car and broke into a business in the location of Fowler Avenue at Sagebrush Trail where he was arrested. According to the sheriff's office, there was no argument prior to the stabbing. The lift driver was hospitalized for his injuries. Jail records show Sewell was arrested in Escambia County in January 2020 for vehicle theft larceny, resisting arrest, and fleeing, eluding. So, Jen Raffenberger, you don't know this about your clients, about your riders. You did not know this, but um, maybe you do know it now because we've brought this to your attention. Hopefully, you're going to do something right because many such characters will get into the back of the car and there will be many stabbings in the back of heads and bullets in the back of heads until you actually do something about it. And I'll tell you what drivers are doing about it. A lot of them are going out and getting this, right? So you jump in the car and you start stabbing an angel, you put them to sleep. Good night, sleep tight, right? Unacceptable, my friends, unacceptable. Unacceptable, Raffenberger, unacceptable. Your comments, please.